Today marks a new for the channel. It's the first beer that I have reviewed from Asda in the year, nearly a year since I've had this channel. So today we're going to be reviewing this Vocation Perfect Storm New England Palau. What's it going to be like? How can Asda compete with the likes of Tesco's? Well, keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. It's a vocation beer. It's called Perfect Storm. It's a New England Palau and it's available in Asda. Asda supermarkets. I never thought I would be drinking a vocation beer from Asda. In fact, as I said in the introduction, I've not really had an Asda, a beer from Asda, a craft beer from Asda that I've reviewed on the channel. I don't even think I've actually had one from Asda. You know, they're usually the sort of beers you get in Asda in terms of craft beer are a lot of the sort of ones that you see, like, you know, obviously Brew Dog and, and I think the odd Siren beer, but the sort of mainstays in all the supermarkets. There's nothing new and unique, but this is quite interesting because I think a few months ago I saw this one, uh, a few YouTubers reviewing because obviously it came out from Vocation um, and I was interested to get hold of it at the time because I love New England style beers. Um, and, uh, you know, it's great artwork and everything else. But this is called Perfect Store. It's a New England Palo. It doesn't tell us anything about the hops in terms of what's in it. All it says is packed full of citrus aromas and a boatload of hops. This New England Palo is dank and juicy with full-on flavours and low bitterness. The thing is that I find really surprising about this is it's a Palo, but it's 6.6%. .6%. I don't think I've had a Palo at that level of, 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 of alcohol, even... A lot of New England IPAs are usually 6.6. .6. You know, you do get a few that are over seven, but not many. Most of them are around about the six sort of, around about six sort of mark. So this seems quite strong for a pale. I, I still don't know how a pale out and an IPA, what the difference is really. I, usually it's just about the fact that a pale out is a bit lighter, uh, not quite as uh, you know, does not as thick of body as an IPA and usually just generally not as alcoholic. So let's crack this one open, see what it's like, see if it feels like a pale or whether it's like a New England IPA. So let's get the beer in the glass. I mean, obviously at the beginning, it's certainly looking very much like a lot of New England IPAs. So we've got a lovely sort of orangey colour. It's a bit darker than a lot of, you know, I like my New England IPAs usually a little bit more yellow than this, but this is very much an orange colour. Two fingers, compacted head, um, just off white there. It certainly looks pretty good. You can see it's very, very hazy. So it looks a bit clear at the bottom. Let's see what the aromas are like. Yeah, you get a lot of sort of tangerine in there passion fruit, mango, not picking up huge amounts of sort of other citrus fruits or pineapple. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, there's a sort of, it's very soft. It's got a lovely soft mouthfeel. It's quite, the flavours are quite strong. It's almost like you can taste that 6.6%. .6%. It doesn't, to me, taste as light as a, as a, a New England pale. It, it's much more like a New, a New England IPA to me. In terms of the flavours, well, I, I'm starting to feel that like I'm getting a sort of, uh, you know, my hand on the sort of hops. For me, uh, that's definitely got mosaic in it. It's got that sort of, that stone fruit sort of flavour. It's got quite strong mango flavours in there, an orange and tangerine, an orange peel, and passion fruit. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, and a little bit of pininess as well, um, which is quite surprising. It's not really as, um, as fresh as a New England IPA. It's not as, I'm not getting much in the way of lemon and lime citrus fruits. I'm not getting huge amounts of, um, you know, pineapple in there as well. It is very easy drinking though, but I can taste that. I can taste the 6.6%. .6%. It does taste that little bit more alcoholic. I don't know if it's like a little bit of hot burn or what it is. 
carbonation is really low. Yeah, but you're getting those big sort of mosaic sort of flavours in there for me. So I reckon it's it's got a lot of mosaic in it, probably Simcoe. If it's got citrus, it's very well hidden. It doesn't have that sort of light. I thought it would be much more citrus because it says, you know, full of citrus aromas, but I'm not really getting, I'm getting a lot of orange. So, you know, you're getting a lot more of orange and passion fruit as the main sort of flavours in there. It's not bad, but I've certainly had a lot better parallels and I've certainly had a lot better, you know, New England style pals and IPAs than this one. It's it's good because it's got low, fairly low bitterness and it's got a nice, very low cut levels of carbonation and a soft mouthfeel. But you'd expect that from a New England. It's, it's, it's what you want from that style of beer. But I would just like a little bit more freshness and more sort of lemon citrus. I'm not really getting much in terms of grapefruit either really in there. You're getting those sort of strong stone fruit sort of flavours. Then there's a little bit of pining sort of bitter very level low levels of bitterness but you get that slight bitterness piney sort of flavor um and i i think it just needs a little bit more to sort to let it sink i think a lot of people would like it i mean in terms of a supermarket beer it's not bad at all and it's in asda three pound i think it's three pound fifty this one so if you see this on asda give it a go if you've already had this let me know in the comments what you think um because obviously this has been around not in supermarkets but it's been available from vocation themselves uh, yeah is it a perfect storm well let's get some scores and find out okay the scores are in for this vocation perfect storm lovely ship and a sort of i presume that is like a squid or something on the front there it's a new england pale at 6.6 percent available for in, in asda i'm sure it was three pound 50 opposed to three pound but it is part of the uh buy four for the price of three so it does cut the price would come down there so first things first aroma well it's not really as light and fresh in terms of a lot of new england ipas you're getting very much of definitely some mosaic hop in there you're getting those sort of very strong mango sort of aromas in there and you're also getting a lot of orange tangerine all types of sort of orange but there's a little bit more of that sort of more of a, a blood orange sort of um aroma in there so it's not bad i'm giving it 12 for aroma appearance wise well i mean it looks like so many of these ipas we've had recently it's a nice it's very orangey you've got a you know nice lace in the glass Looks pretty good, nice and hazy, eight out of 10 for appearance. Flavor wise, well, it's got a really soft mouthfeel. If anything, the carbonation is really low. It could do with a little bit of something zingy, just sort of fizzy around your mouth a little bit to get those flavors going. And in terms of flavor, it's very much, in my opinion, in the stone fruit sort of flavor. You've got a lot of mango in there, but it's, it's a little bit dank you're getting quite a little bit of bitterness from an orange sort of bitterness, I would say, almost passion fruit in there as well. They're the sort of key flavours. You're not getting much in terms of the lemon and lime citrus fruits, and you're not really getting much in terms of grapefruit, no pineapple really. So if you like those sort of more stone fruit and a slightly sort of danker chewy, for a pale, a 6.6% is quite high. And I feel there's a little bit of Almost like you can taste it, you know. It, there's a lot of these strong beers that are strong in alcohol, but when you drink them, they're just like pure juice, you know. But this, this you can tell that it's a little bit stronger than your normal sort of beer. So for flavour, I'm giving it 31. Value for money, well, it's said £3.50. If you bought four of them and you paid four for free, then that'd be 14 Yeah, I mean, you'd be paying like less than three quid for it then. So it's pretty good value. I'm giving it an eight out of 10. And then my overall experience, well, I've got to admit, I was really looking forward to this, but it's not quite my sort of cup of tea, really. It's a little bit too strong. The colour, the flavours are a little bit too sort of dank and pie, and there's a slight, I'm trying to work out whether it's a, a piney bitterness or a sort of, or more almost like an orange peel type of bitterness. Not really my sort of flavours. It's 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 a just about getting to a New England IPA, but it's but it's sort of hinting a little bit of that sort of more West Coast sort of flavours of piney, orangey, passion fruit flavours. 
So I'm giving it 11 for overall. But we top those scores up and we get a 70 out of 100. Just about slips into the recommended. I'm sure there's our people out there that will probably really enjoy this. For me, I don't know, whether I'm just going off that this sort of flavour of IPA. It's just got that too much of that orange bitterness really for me um but 70 not bad and it's a beer from asda so you know if you if your local supermarket is an asda uh, and suddenly you go in there and you see this then give us a give it a try and let me know in the comments what you think of it because i don't think we've had a beer as good as that in asda ever ever before so um so get tuck tuck in and uh, in, enjoy it and until the next one you know what you're gonna do keep on rocking